The line started forming in Westwood the night before the day of the event. People came not only from Southern California, but also from the entire United States. For what? For this. Not just the album, but to have it signed by its singer, Miss Betty Davis. Since the album bombed on its original release in 1976, Miss Davis decided to re-release the album with heavy promotions. An estimated 600 albums were bought today for Miss Davis to sign. Employees of Tower Records were pleasantly surprised by the turnout. We've, we've had lots of people here signing albums before. We've never had a crowd like this, a response like this. Ever since Wednesday, we've had people calling from as far east as North Carolina, Chicago, Texas. So people are coming in from out of state. Some people, yeah, some guys have flown in. For Although lines stretched around the block, patience was the true virtue that led to finally seeing this great legend. How long have you been waiting on this line? Uh, well, I just got here, but I plan to wait as long as it takes. Uh, a little over an hour, I think it is now. Yeah. About two hours. About two hours, maybe? Two hours? About two, yeah. About two hours. It's, it's 8 o'clock last night. And what time is it now? <laughs> Quarter to four. Are you from the Betty Davis era? Uh, she was, I think when she hit real stardom, I was just a little bit too young, and I caught up with her later on. No, but I've been a fan, I think, since birth. Um, not, not quite, but my parents did, and I watched quite a few of her movies growing up. She's, she's my stepmother's idol, and she always talks about her all the time, and whenever there's a movie on, she always tells us, oh, come in here, there's a Betty Davis movie on, you have to watch it, she's fantastic. Sort of. Sort of. Uh, my mother, it, I, I guess it was mostly in her era, but I was raised with her pictures, and uh, I think the old stars are the best. I mean, there's some of the new ones that I like, but the old stars have more character or... They'll last. They're classics. Uh, yeah, they're classics where I think the people today are just sort of flash in the pan. You know, I don't think they're going to be as well-known, you know, or or idolized as much. Well, um, I'm not going to tell my age, am I? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I did. Yeah, sure. I just wanted to thank her for, for giving so much of herself to everyone. Her films are incredible, and she'll always go on forever. I can't think of anything worth waiting for more than Betty Davis. I have something for her to autograph. She's a particular favorite of mine. Where did you get this? Why do you have it? Um, well, I had it at home because I collect this stuff. And Barbara Stanwyck also, my two favorites. But Betty Davis is my life. I've been living for this for three weeks. I've been living to come down here. She's my life. She's a legend. Gotta say it, she's a legend. Gifts from roses to love letters overwhelmed Miss Davis, but not half as much as some of the items which she was asked to sign. The young, the old, and yes, even the famous greeted Miss Davis, and even though probably half of the crowd today was in kindergarten during the Betty Davis era, all know of her many talents from watching old films and talking to people who grew up with her. It's no wonder that in 1977, Betty Davis became the fifth recipient of the American Film Institute's Life Achievement Award, the first woman ever to receive this honor. This multi-Oscar winning lady brought the press for most major papers, magazines, and magazine news shows in the area. And to think that after so many years, a lady could still captivate the public today as she did decades ago. If ever comes a time again to meet someone as beautiful and, and good as an actress as Betty Davis, they should do what we did. Take the time and whatever amount of hours you have to spend to wait to see that person is worth doing it. Because this is one of the days that I'll never forget. <laughs> really? Yeah. So ends a day long awaited and long to be remembered by Betty Davis fans. From Westwood, this is Steve.